Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. We are in the middle of UNC Geth Incursions, so let's move on. We've got two planets done now. Say farewell to Antibar, although that was a scary place because of that fight. Uh, the terrain was quite pleasant, I have to say. I will miss that. Right, here's a carbonaceous asteroid. While scanning the asteroid field in the Tereshkova system, you picked up some anomalous readings. After some daring maneuvering by Joker, a small team was able to recover some debris from one of the larger rocks. Among the items discovered was a legal one medallion. I wonder how close we were to dying while Joker was doing that. That would not have been nice of the game to do that. Okay, we're done with Tereshkova. Moving on to Hong's system. And if I'm right, uh, this is a reference to Dongfang Hong 1, which translates as Red East One, which in April 1970 became China's first space satellite. Alright, Treasure. And there's nothing really to say here, uh, except we found some lithium. Right, next is Trishaka. Trishaka is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. In the past, it was often used as a drive discharge point for pirates raiding human settlements from the terminus systems. In 2178, the Alliance set up a network of covert sensing devices on Trishaka's moons. Recordings of pirate FTL exit vectors over the course of six months led the Alliance Navy to eight major pirate anchorages. Since the Trishaka raids, no ship from the terminus system has, reported, has been reported in the Hong system. So that makes sense. Alright, Matar. Matter? No, Matar, probably. <laughs> because of noxious surface gases, explorers are warned to use extreme caution. Matar lacks a magnetic field. This makes it useless for discharging FTL drive cores in orbit. The energetic particles of solar wind from the Hong strike the upper atmosphere directly ionizing the Krypton. This gives the planet its distinctive minty green-white hue. And it's cold here. Scans of Matar revealed debris from a destroyed Asari freighter. Further scans uncovered a body which was brought on board. Dr. Chuck was examined but learned nothing about its origins. Among the Asari's personal effects, however, was one of Major Delanaga's writings. I think that's writing number 9 out of the quest. We only need 10. So we're almost done there. Kasbin. Kasbin is a classic pre garden terrestrial world with conditions similar to those on Earth millions of years ago. Its hot, humid atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. An increasing amount of the surface is covered by simple lichen and algae. So should no unexpected calamity occur, these tiny plants will change the atmosphere to an Earth-like nitrogen-oxygen mix over the next few millennia. Due to its potential for future habitability and sapient life, Kasbin has been designated a sanctuary world by the Citadel Council. Landing is prohibited by law, and any disturbance of the fragile young ecosystem will result in harsh fines and imprisonment. At present, the planet is passing through a debris trail of a long-period comet. Alright, it's warm here. It's not a hazard, though, luckily. Um, and luckily, we can land here. So, because it's prohibited by law, and we're above the law, I guess it's okay, but probably we should be careful anyway. Alright, Team Geth. As always, they've been working out really well so far. No organic fighting here. Let's check out this anomaly first. Yeah, just going to do some climbing. This is a fairly mountainous place. This looks like a beacon. And, uh,. <laughs> Did I know that I mentioned? Uh, that is quite the uh, tail we're passing through here. Hopefully, most of these things are burning up in the atmosphere. Buried underneath the beacon was an identification tag for Captain Thayan. There's no indication of why it was hidden here or who buried it in the first place. I think that's the last of the Solarian ID tags, uh, which means it was the fourth out of three needed. So extra one looks like, which is cool. Alright, next is this debris, which I 
which you can tell is in the bottom of this bowl, so I have to I'm gonna avoid this bowl. So we'd have to climb out of two of them. Probe. And nothing I need. We're in the middle of a fight. Uh, are we? You're the only one holding a gun. And I can see some red dots, so we're gonna head that way. Right now. Here the uh, terrain is uh, giving us some good cover. Let's take stock. Looks like three turrets and three armatures. Yeah, this is a place that's fun for hacking. One down. That's the last of them. I'm pretty sure it's not. Tali's hacking to recharge. Can I have to get closer to one of these guys? Oops, and there goes my cursor out of the window, which it seems to love doing. And somebody else has died. Else has died. I love it. All targets eliminated. Not quite, Liara. Oh wow! I wasn't even shooting. Uh, is Tolly dead now? She's blocked though for some reason. One turret. Oh, nice. <laughs> and that's everybody. That's the last of them. All right. So this was not the. Uh, this was not really part of the UNC Geth incursions. This was just a separate outpost. And at least here, we have the sense that uh, they were guarding something. This this, kind of, this set of terminals here. Possibly leftover parts from Dragon's Teeth. Um, but unfortunately, we can't actually interact with this, so we can't learn anything here. Tali ought to be a little miffed by the fact that uh, what we're supposed to be doing is finding uh, information about Rogue Geth, and we, all we find is Geth, but no actual information. So sorry, Tali, we're coming up empty so far. Okay. We're heading over to the actual Geth outpost, but there's some, some minerals on the way, somewhere near there. Yeah, did you notice there was a road that uh, we took heading down? 
from that outpost. Yeah, if you do this planet in the counterclockwise direction, that road is very helpful to get you up there. Found some gold here. Alright, on to the Geth outpost. Yeah, this particular um, terrain feature here is really tough to get up, so I always prefer to, to approach this from the north. And we're jammed. Everyone's out their pistols? Okay. And we're not jammed anymore. Thousand paper cuts. There might be somebody else. Nice job, team. All targets eliminated. Okay, and here comes the Geth dropship. All right, notice the Geth dropship has a health bar on it. Um, you can shoot at the Geth dropship. Unfortunately, you don't get any XP for taking out the dropship. So really, the best way to deal with this is to deplete the dropship of Geth, which there are 23 shock troopers here.
nice. <laughs> oh, I love that. Hacking is so much fun. Clear. <sighs> yeah. By not taking out the dropship, you get 23 shock troopers. That's pretty sweet. That's a lot of XP. We just picked up. And once again, there's no building to enter. There's no data to uncover. There's nothing to learn here. Just XP. This is just a shoot 'em up combat mission. It's almost like an extended Pinnacle Station. Except not so silly. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, just a couple more minerals to pick up. And do some climbing. Oh, there's one actually fairly nearby. Right about there. Oh, we can actually see it. getting any more money. That means, uh, oops, we got some gifts from the fight. And nothing I really need. But yeah, we've maxed out credit. I think this is the first time in this playthrough that I've finally done that. I've been close a few times, but I've been buying stuff. But, uh, right now, nothing to buy. Alright, there should be one more mineral set right about there. it for Casbin. Alright, still not done. Getting there though. Alright, we'll pick up the story from right here next time.